So let's say, for example, uh, I'm a nice little coffee, food truck sort of person known as Pony Express, and one of the things that I want to know is, what is the maximum possible revenue I can make uh, on a given day if I sell coffee cups, uh, coffee, lattes, and mochas uh, at these different prices? The problem is, we're talking about physical goods, and that means that I have certain limitations. Obviously, I'm not going to buy an infinite amount of coffee cups. I'm only going to have 500 coffee cups. So, collectively, I can only sell 500. But then I only have the materials uh, for, say, a premium latte or a premium mocha. I only have uh, enough materials to total sort of make 350 of those. And on top of that, I only have enough material to make, at most, 125 mochas. So I can't just say, oh, let's just sell mochas all the time. So what can I do? Well, this is actually where the solver option can come into play, because it allows us to have a little bit more control than something like the goal seek. So how do I do this? Well, I have first installed solver, and I click on it. This is going to pull up a nice little objective for me. What is my objective? To change what value? In our case, G4, our total revenue. Now, I can set it to be the maximum, the minimum, or the value of, but uh, in our case, you know, we'll leave it as max. But now we get into changing what variables. Well, this is actually where cups sold needs to come into play. Obviously, this is the variables that are going to change. And so I hit D5. But as soon as I hit D9, notice this changed. That becomes very annoying because, well, I need all three of these guys. So what can I do? Well, I can hold down the control key. I can click on D9. And you see that it now highlights both of them. I can click on D13. And it's going to select all of them. So now we get into our constraints. This is where these can come into play. So subject to what constraints? In our case, we're just going to go ahead and hit Add. Now, the part I want to focus in on is no longer this side, but these things over here. Like I mentioned, I'm limited by the number of cups I can sell. So total cups can only be 500. So in this case, total cups can be less than or equal to 500. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're, oh, well, you know, we should probably sell as many as we possibly can, but for our sake. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hit Add. Because the next one I want to deal with is my max premiums. So, all of a sudden, premium cups. I can only sell 350 premium cups. Same kind of thing comes in. G7 is less than or equal to 350. I'm going to hit add one more time. And this time we're actually talking about max mocha. I only have enough material to make uh, 125 mochas. So the same thing. I'm going to come in, establish that I only have, uh, this is the variable, the cell that will be constrained by 125. I'm going to hit OK. Now all of a sudden, I've built out my constraints, and we could go through this song and dance of selecting a solving method. Luckily for ours, we'll go ahead and just leave it at GRG nonlinear. But you can see we have different options that we can play with. Now what I have to do is I basically hit solve. And it's going to go through, and you can see I get this nice little, oh, it found a solution. I need to sell 150 uh, normal cups, and 225 premium lattes, and 125 uh, premium mochas. Again, that was my cap. I can only sell that many mochas, so then it became this sort of song and dance. And so, all of a sudden, I can see that I can list those out, and my total revenue suddenly is $918.75.